What's going on everybody on YouTube? Moniac here again. I'm going out fishing today. Hopefully I can catch some bass for you guys to see. When I get to the lake, I'll show you what type of lures I'm going to be using. Um, so hopefully I can catch some fish. Wish me luck guys. See you in a bit. Alright guys, fish number one. Dang it. I wish I had brought my tripod, but uh, but I didn't, which sucks. But here it is. It's a small little dinky fish, nothing major. Got the uh, white uh, spinner rate, the one I was showing you guys earlier, and then the white rub. So, that's a fish right there, at least, you know. I thought I was gonna get skunked today. Just got here maybe like 30 minutes, 40 minutes ago. But I was, uh, you know, I was already ready to give up, <laughs> to be honest. There it is. I'm gonna go ahead and show the release. Um, hold on just a second. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, so here's the little bass. And I am going to release him. There it goes. Hopefully I can uh, catch you some more fish, guys. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I hope you liked the video so far. Um, caught that nice bass. It, was, it wasn't, it was okay. I mean, a fish is a fish, you know. It was uh, probably under a pound for sure. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the lure that I caught it on. Just a closer look at it. Which was, it was just a spinnerbait, white spinnerbait with a white grub on there awesome bait you know I'm actually getting into spinner baits this year I've I actually love the spinner bait thing it's pretty cool so this is actually the next day after catching that uh, some, uh, largemouth bass and so today is another day and I actually went to Bass Pro Shops and since I re I'm, I'm starting to really enjoy these baits, buzz baits and spinner baits and stuff like that, you know, I actually went to Bass Pro, as you can see right there, best store to go to, it's super fun. Anyways, and I got some more stuff here that I wanted to show you guys. So, first off, I bought myself a Booyah. It's a chartreuse color, or firefly, I guess you can say. Anyways, it's just chartreuse, you know, chartreuse color. Now, I'm going to put on this, I'm going to put a uh, white grub on there, you know, like the one I have on my other one, on my other spinnerbait. Let me get this open for you guys so I can show it to you. I'm going to put a white, you know, trailer on there and see what I can catch. I mean, should be all right. And I also have that dye. Um, so I'm gonna dye the grub a little bit more chartreuse, give it some garlic scent to it. It has the chartreuse cluttered, colored blades on there. It's pretty cool. I've never had a spinner bait like that. So hopefully I can catch a nice fish with it. And I know I'm gonna catch a nice fish with this, so hopefully we'll see what's up. Next up I got this one here, striking spinner bait. It's like kind of like a fire tiger color. It looks like, and it's like a bleeding. Bleeding, uh, bleeding color. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I just said on the other, the Booyah. I'm gonna put the white grub on there and paint it chartreuse. I don't know though, to be honest, on this one I might just keep it white just to see what's up. Maybe, you know, just check it out, see if it works better. It's got the red hook on there, and it's got like a little bleeding on there. They're both uh, 3 16 ounce. It's got the little gold blade and the silver blade on there. So, I mean, I've tried using the trailer hooks. They were great. Oh, wow. You know what? I don't know, man. On the, on the Booyahs, it's actually kind of, the hook is actually much bigger, as you can see. So on the... The striking, I'm actually might have to put a trailer hook on there. That is pretty small. The booyah has a bigger hook, so I don't. I just put a trailer, uh, a trailer grub on there. But this one, way smaller, you know. 
that's not very good. So I might actually, instead of putting a grub on there, I might actually put a uh, trailer hook on that. Just because it's a smaller hook and, you know, the fish might miss that. So, anyways, I got that. And the last one was this one, which was a... I'm going to actually use this as a nighttime spinnerbait. Now, I have a nighttime buzz bait. As you guys saw in my previous video, it's it's a, it's a purple buzz bait, purple and black. And so today, I wanted to try getting a spinnerbait that's uh, for nighttime, and I chose this one. There was no black ones. There was some, but I didn't really like them. Uh, so I got this one here, and it's got a gold blade and a chartreuse tail on it. And as you can see right here, this is a booyah one as well oh, wait. yeah it doesn't matter you guys know it's a booyah one as well so the hook is pretty big so I'm just gonna put a trailer on there and the head of the bait is uh, it's kind of like a black and it's got gold flakes on it which is pretty pretty dope you know and it also has these gold uh, black uh, skirt and half black half chartreuse so I'm gonna be able to use this bait in daytime and in nighttime. Now, what I wanted to show you guys as well is I'm gonna pair that up with, I got this pack of uh, Bass Pro Shops uh, grubs, and the white grubs that I have that I've showed you before are also Bass Pro Shops. I actually enjoy these, they're really awesome. I've caught some fish on them. So I wanted to stick with them, just because, you know, stick with the same lure that works for you, right? Anyways, it's like a, it's, it's a blue, black with blue flake grub okay so I'm gonna end up putting this on here so let me just do that right now so you guys can see how it looks now this is gonna be my nighttime spinnerbait like I said earlier so uh, you know so I have a nighttime buzz bait I have some daytime buzz bait and uh, some daytime spinnerbaits which I I'm actually actually really enjoying these spinner baits and buzz bait things, you know, it's it's actually pretty cool. This is actually, like I said, this is actually the first time I use this buzz baits and spinner baits. Inline spinner baits, it's a different thing, obviously. I mean, I've used inline spinner baits a lot, but buzz baits, spinner baits, first year using them, and you know what? I'm actually, I have a lot of confidence in them, and they work awesomely. You know, I actually catch some bass with them. So this is how it's gonna look, you know, swimming through the water, and I'm gonna use that at nighttime you know, as a nighttime uh, spinner bait. So, anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed my video so far. Um, I'm gonna be going out, today is actually Saturday. Uh, I think it's the 7th, I'm not exactly sure. It could be the 6th, could be the 8th, but I'm pretty sure it's the 7th. Anyways, I'm gonna be going to fishing on Sunday. Uh, I mean, sorry about that, not Sunday. I'm gonna be going fishing on Monday, I'm gonna be going fishing on Tuesday, those are my two days off. I'm gonna go see what I can catch. If I can catch some fish, I'm gonna be taking my camcorder. I'm gonna be going with my brother so he can be record me. Hopefully I can catch some fish. Hopefully he can catch the fish. I'll put um, him on my videos as well. Anyways guys, this is what I got, you know. Hopefully, you know, I can catch some fish with this stuff. And I know I probably will. You know, they're buzz baits, spinner baits. You know, obviously at this time around on Bass Pro Shop trip, I did not catch, uh, I did not buy any buzz baits, but there's the spinner bait, my nighttime spinner bait. Okay, there's my daytime spinner bait. And there's another daytime spinner bait. So, my, my water is very murky. That's why I like using the uh, whites and that's why I like using the chartreuses. So, and black, I mean, come on. You can't really go wrong with black. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Have a good night or have a good day. Actually, it's daytime still. In a couple hours will be night. Anyways, have a good day. See you later.